Today I've got the Super IR Cam 2S. Let's open it up and take a look. There's a QR code for a tutorial video. And luckily everything is translated into English so we can understand what's actually going on inside of this little manual. Like we've got the camera head here, a little extension arm, a couple important bits that I'm sure we'll need, type C to USB cable, and under here we have that out. Looks like it fits in here like a Lego. Inside the little bag here, we've got a, a little nylon washer, which I'm sure goes with this. And then we've got two little bolts that come with an Allen wrench. Holding that in here, we can then screw on one of the bolts. Stick the other in, and we'll give it a few turns. That makes that nice and solid. Now let's take this, slide it through, slide on our nylon washer there, and we will screw this on in. Now we can adjust the height so we can get it in focus, I'm sure. All right, let's take and plug in the little USB here. All right, so we're gonna click on our USB file. We'll go down to the application. We'll double click on that. Select English, hit next, 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 then install. Finish. Now we'll install driver one. Next, finish. And install driver two. Next, finish. And we'll close that out and it should pop open the program. So I'm going to show you where to find it. We're going to go and find the application again and let's give it a few seconds and it should then fire up if we have everything connected. And there we go. There is my hand. See it leaves a handprint. And here's a tool so you can see the contrast that this has. Let's zoom in and out by lowering the, uh, the arm here. You can see uh, it doesn't really matter the height, I still get clarity of image, which is really kind of cool, which means we can really kind of adjust the alignment of whatever we're working on to be in frame. And here I've got my soldering iron all hot. You can see how dark everything gets and how, how bright this is. We can adjust uh, the range here of what it actually sees in the program. With something this hot, it seems like it wants to kind of wig out a little bit. Let's see my finger there. If I take it away automatically, it adjusts to whatever is hottest. So this is that's definitely an indicator that it's going to show you a short on a logic board if you're trying to isolate an issue. You can see how precise this is going to be. Take a look at my ring here, for example. Detail, I'm just able to pick up pretty sweet. You can slide this here and you can see a, a look at the exchange of heat into the mat below from the ring. That's pretty cool. When I rub here on the mat, you can see the dissipation of heat. You can play with the settings all you'd like. You can even record a video here, capture an image. Here, let's uh, take uh, AirPods that I'm working on and we'll plug in a charger and you can see here, uh, immediately TriStar starts to heat up. See the one bright square there. Pretty cool how, how warm how warm it's showing it, getting even though it's not hot to the touch. See the heat transfer of my fingers into the cap there. Look how detailed the image is. How quickly things cool down when they don't have power. You're definitely going to be able to narrow down the individual components when they heat up on this. So that's a, a really good image. Especially if we make it even larger. I mean, look at the look at the image on that SIM card tray. I know that I don't have any heat in this board right now, but that being said, you can still make out the connectors, and everything. This is this is going to be really. This is a really good camera. Overall, the surface area that this takes up on the desk is very small. 
It's got this nice mat so you don't mar or damage the logic boards if the components are exposed. You can see how precise you can get you can, you know, by zooming in. Uh, if the logic board's smaller, you can just lower the, the camera head and it'll still have a good quality image. That's really going to allow you to pick up on what the individual components that are shorted out. So pretty, pretty easy setup here. Just connecting it to the computer and installing the program straight from the thumb drive that comes with it. Really easy to set up. Really easy to use. This is this is a this is definitely handy and a really clean look. I really like the the size, the design, and how clear that that image is. And you can see you know the wrinkles in my skin, like everything. So. You're definitely going to be able to narrow down the individual components when they heat up on this. That's a, a really good image, especially if we make it even larger. I mean, look at the look at the image on that SIM card tree. I know that I don't have any heat in this board right now, but that being said, you can still make out the connectors. This is a really good camera.